and Clemson getting left out of the playoffs, first team out. Um, probably thought they should have been in winning record, left out for two under 500 teams, faces Oregon State, and FCS call up going 5-5 five and five on the year, meeting in Arizona. Coming into this game, our lines are for FanDuel, Clemson is favored by one and a half, and for DraftKings, five and a half as Oregon State kicks it off to Clemson and sell auto, brings it out of the end zone to the 20, cuts back left to the 25, and that's where Clemson will take over for the first drive of the game. Gerald, I'm eager to see what side of those that you were on tonight. What's Oh, it's out of the spread? Or... Yeah. You know, after after uh, to getting left out of playoffs, I, I feel like it's got to be Clemson. I think Clemson's going to dominate this game as they get an eight-yard gain to start the, the start the game. And Clemson's on the move already. Clemson back to pass, fires left side. He's got a man behind it. If he's Nagata, is going to score two plays, a touchdown for Clemson, making a statement early. And Hooter going off sides. Um, wonder what that's about. Anyway, 30 seconds into the game, Clemson's already scored. As I, you can see by his tweet after the selection show, felt like he should have been in. Felt like there was some behind the scenes business that left him out. He's coming to make a statement. Um, And 7 nothing early as Clemson kicks it off to Lau. He brings it out of the end zone as well. He goes left to the 20 and is tackled there around the 20-yard line. So here comes the offense taking Oregon State bringing the ball out for the first time. In the, they are in the SEC. Um... After being starting in the FCS, Nolan rolls out to the right side, has the man over the field, Harrison. Harrison to the 45 and tackle around the 47 yard line. What a doozy we have here, boys. What do you have in this game, Inte? What's that? Nolan what back to pass. Rolls out to the right side, over, fires over to Musgrave, who gets about 13 yards, moves it to the plus 39. Uh, I think Clemson walks out of here 49 0. <laughs> Old prediction, Chief. Oregon State at the 40 yard line. Hands off to Fenwick on the counter action, makes the man miss, gets about. 12 yards, moves the chains again. Oregon State finding offense early. Yo, GG's, Mason. GG's, man. I don't think my heart rate's come down yet. I don't even have a chat. I don't to do that. No one with a five wide look here. Back to pass. No one will try to run out to the right side. This time, Simpson get, picks it off over the middle, and Simpson breaks one tackle. Looks to break a second, but cannot. Takes it to the 30 yard line, and Clemson will take over there. Clemson back to pass. Fires over to the left side of Nagata, who just scored on a 75 yard touchdown pass. Gets seven yards there, second and three. Clemenic with the five wide look, three to the right, two to the left. Making audibles at the line. Gage looking to make a statement early, showing the committee and the computer poll why they should have been in. A run, a blitz by Oregon State gets there and loses 10 yards, third and 12 for Clemson this time. Another five wide look for Clemson. Clemson getting orders out of the line. Has to get a first down here. Cannot go for it on fourth down. 
fires to, on to right side on a comeback and falls incomplete. And Oregon State will get the ball back after a stop by the defense. Swanson kicks it deep to Lowe, who has had a, a season to remember in terms of returning kicks. Only gets nine yards there. Has returned at least seven kickoffs throughout the season. Let's talk about some upcoming matchups. What are y'all's predictions between Pitt and Florida? Yeah. <sighs> I'll have to go with Florida again. I just I don't see BT stopping. It's, to me, it's office. one of those games that would be a money line pick. I think it's as even as it gets. Yeah. No yeah, I think off. it. Go ahead, MT. I was just going to say, I, I really think it comes down to who is going to prepare the most leading up to that game. I don't know how much Jet, you know, plays for practices, I guess, but I, I know that um, Pitt puts a lot of time in. Mason and Law agreed that Florida, I think Florida will win the game as Finnewick gets got 13 yards in that last play. First and 10 for Oregon State, looking to tie the game up here. Nolan back to pass, rolls up to the right side, fires to Lindsey over the middle, gets about five yards, second and five upcoming. You know, if these two guys avoid turnovers, this is probably going to be a really high-scoring game. Mm -hmm. Nolan with three receivers to the left, one to the right. Nolan giving audible to his receiver, a play action pass. Nolan back to pass, fires the ball on the left side, gets seven yards, and moves the chains for another first down. I believe we'll have another playoff matchup tom or tomorrow at some time. Kansas State and Minnesota will play third game of the playoffs. We've already had Michigan and Michigan State take wins. As Nolan fires the goal over the middle, 15 yards and another first down for Oregon State. Line currently for the Kansas State Minnesota game on DraftKings. Kansas State's favored by 27 on FanDuel. Kansas State's favored by 20 and a half. Handoff Fenwick up the middle gets about eight yards, second and two for Oregon State. All right, so Blake, what do you? Yeah, I guess MT too. Do you, <laughs> I didn't make the lines sneak. We have what, sneak in the chat. What, 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 we, what do we think about the lines? What do we think about the lines? As loud as hanging off right side, tackle out of bounds for a six-yard game. I definitely think it's going to be a fourteen-point game going in the Kansas State coach's way. But we have seen Minnesota come out and surprise us. It's true. Uh, I feel like I cannot make a prediction on a bet because I'm coaching in it. Um, I feel like that's against some rules as we're going to get to one yard run on the play. What's the line again? Uh, DraftKings 27.5, Kansas State, FanDuel 20.5 for Kansas State. Wow. Uh, oh, and back to pass. Rolls out right side, looking to take off. Only gets another yard. Third and eight up coming for Oregon State. With a couple crossers across the middle, wide open, too. Mm -hmm. Maybe if he would sit still in the pocket, he may be able to take advantage of those opportunities. Hey, you know, when the quarterback drops back and he throws the ball, wide receiver catches it in the end zone, you know, that, oh that's going to be a touchdown. Wide open. Oregon State had a touchdown on the left side, did not see it. So it loses 10 yards on the sack and wants to settle for three. The kick is up and it is fading right, hits the upright, and goes in. 7 to 3, Clemson. It's the second time tonight we've seen a field goal dink off the upright and go in. Coach Nick, I think that's quite the opposite of what Gerald wants to tell you. So I think you know, will avoid that. I could do that, but like, why don't you give me your game plan first, and then I will tell you my game plan. Stalhara brings the kickoff out of the end zone and brings it to about the 27-yard line, and that's where they take over. Oh, with what Mason's saying, that is what MT is king at when he first started in this league was the pro-style offense. Mm -hmm. Clemson in a Power formation, Shifley with the hand up at the middle and gets two, second and eight for Clemson. Oh, you guys are talking about the Florida game. I guess I should bring that line out, shouldn't I? 
FanDuel has Pittsburgh minus one and a half as a favorite. And as clubbing back to pass, look running right side or left side, excuse me, this time to the 30. Comes out of bounds at the 32, third and five. DraftKings for the Florida game has Florida favorite three and a half. FanDuel, Pittsburgh favorite one and a half. As Clubbing has a free spot. Five wide look. Clubbing rolls out left side. He's going to get the first out of the more to the 40, 45, 50. Runs out of bounds around the 47. Clumley back to pass, looking over the middle, cannot find a receiver. Once again, looks to take off, running backwards to the 20, flings it out of bounds, three seats up. Intentional uh, grounding. <laughs> <laughs> Intentional grounding is the call. It is now second and 42 for Gage. I don't know if y'all guys heard that, but we got a quick yeah, I mean, from Coach yeah, Gage. I, mean, I don't know what we're doing here. Sounds like he's not too happy. First, he misses the playoffs, and then DJ DJ is in the game. A quarterback change in the bowl game as he rolls right side. He's going to get sacked for a safety. Throws it out of bounds. Third and forty-two this time. Huter is now bringing the pressure and is getting there. Uh, Gage has to get what is the thirty-seven yards here to even have a chance of going for on first on fourth down. Five wide, obviously, for Clemson. Clemson rolling backwards, back to pass. Fires over the middle. Has a receiver. Spectre gets 30. What was that? 30. Uh, 34 yards. 35 yards, excuse me. But not enough for the first down. Guys, so I would not be away. surprised if I saw a fake right here. Gage is yeah, real known. Oh, there's dude. the fake. Swanson back to pass with the punter. Fires, and it's knocked away. Turnover on downs. He had it there for a second, and Hooter is going to take over with a chance to take the lead here. Oh. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possession. Ball at the around. Uh, what is that? The round 49 yard line, negative 49. Nolan bringing out the offense again. A counter once again to Fenway. Again, Fenway's got open grass. Gets about two, eight yards, excuse me, second or two. All right, Sneak, so I'll do it both ways. If, if Kansas State's going to win the game, as no one's five wide, if a fake QB sneak or QB draw throws it away, and I, that Gage is not going to be very happy if that's not intentional grounding, but his was. Anyway, third and two for Oregon State. If, so Kansas State's going to beat Minnesota. they got to establish their offense, do what they do. And they got to slow down the QB run as no one's back to pass. It is knocked away fourth and two for Oregon State. Got to slow the QB run. Got to get pressure on the quarterback as well for Minnesota. Obviously, Kansas State's a run dominant team. You got to slow down the run game, make them pass the ball. Um, and then offensively, you just got to keep up. They're a high scoring offense. You got you to play their game as that goes in the. Goes into the end zone for a touchback. I would have gone for that. I don't know about you, Blake. I would have gone for that on fourth down. I definitely would have. After a horrific ending to the last drive, brings the Clifton's offense back out and rolls out to the left side immediately, takes off, slides down for a nine yard gain, second and one upcoming. Expecting a run play. I think we're going to say this too. They got a left to right motion across the line of scrimmage. I'm going to give him more audibles. Handoff up the middle. Shipley doesn't get much, but doesn't get enough for the first down. It's a two yard game for Shipley. From their own 30 yard line. First down. Coming back to pass, fires over the middle to Collins. Collins breaks one tackle, breaks another, and gets nine yards. Second and one for Clemson. No huddle immediately for Clemson. Clemson. 
Coming back to pass. Fires left side. Almost intercepted by right. He read it perfectly. Incomplete. Third and one for Clemson. It's third down, and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Sneak. I'm actually running the triple option tomorrow. I'll be ready for it. Five wide for Clemson on a third and one. Maybe expecting QB draw here. Public back to pass. It is five wide. Clubs can take off right side. Runs and gets the first down to the 45-50. Runs to the mounds around the Oregon State 49-yard line. From the 49-yard line, it's first down. Klubnik getting audibles at the line. Handoff Shipley right side. Shipley tries to cut it left side. Gets free to the 30, 35, 25, 20, and a tackle around the 22 yard line. <laughs> Fair enough, Sneak. I, I, you know, I've commentated, I watched your games a couple of times. I know I know what we're dealing with. I, I already got what I'm going to do. Play action screen pass to Williams, left side. Tries to make a man miss. Only gets about four yards. Second and six. See, for me, going into when I was playing, Miss, or playing Minnesota this year. In league play, that's that was my game plan was just to stop the run. Um, yeah, Chickley gets half of what they need. Third and three now for Clemson. It would be a shame if tomorrow night is or tomorrow, whatever when we're playing. It's the last time I use this Vaughn. Third and three, read option for Clemson, and Clemson's got green grass. Slides down around the five yard line. First and goal for Clemson. Looking to extend the lead to two scores here. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, Blake, but I think this is the, this season was the first season that Gates has missed the playoffs. It's coming like big snap, rolls left side, fires to Shipley, who behind the line of scrimmage and gets in the end zone. Touchdown, Clemson. They take a two score lead. Um. Yeah, I, I don't know if Gage has missed the playoffs for this season. I missed it in season but, one. Okay, that's what I thought. I wasn't here in season one. So. <laughs> All right, Sneak. Hey, I'm not expecting I mean, we already saw a 12 seed take it to the 5 seeds. So I'm saying nothing less than the 11 taking it to the 6. Uh, Mason, I'm going to be really honest with you. I don't know what was pulling... I think you are the same amount of ranked wins. I don't know what was pulling him more over you. Because it was a wide margin between you two. But Okay, that's why. That, he had three, so that makes more sense. Nolan back to pass. Over the middle to Fenwick. Fenwick seems to be a primary target for Oregon State tonight. From their own 19-yard line. Second down. Blake, you had the chat open. <laughs> oh, wow. Nolan fires in the middle. A diving attempt by the receiver that drops. Third and six for Oregon State. They need to get a first down here because if they get the ball back to Clemson, three timeouts, maybe have just over a minute and a half left. Clemson can make this a three-score game going into halftime. Nolan back to pass. Look, rolling right side, looking right side, is sacked for a two-yard loss, and timeout, Clemson. Fair enough, Snake. I've said that, I've, I've said that many times to twist. I know, I know that feeling. Fourth and eight, punting the ball away. As Shipley gets a short punt. That's true, we will. Anything can happen in the playoffs. Clemson's going to look to take a three-score lead here going to halftime. I do believe Oregon State gets the ball begin the third quarter. Um, but I'm assuming Gage is showing go mercy tonight as Clemson back to pass. Oregon State bringing a blitz. Nagata is over, makes a man miss at the 15-10, makes another man miss, and is tackled from behind around the seven-yard line. Clubnick back to pass again. Knocked away at the line of scrimmage, looking for his tight end over the middle. Second and goal. It's second and goal. Eight yards out. 
Wait, what are you talking about? Oh, adding ages? What do you mean? Club neck back to pass, rolling left side. Um, Club neck gets in the end zone, touchdown Clemson, and they have take it. They have taken a three score lead here. Um, be honest, Mason. Here's what I told Blake: If Blake did not get that conference championship appearance boost, he would have been 14. So Gage would have got in. So that's where you got to look: is Blake was the one that puts Clemson out. Um, really, in, in in our conference, what really killed Gage's opportunity was Twist Jr. got up on Gage. Yeah, and um, obliterated him. And, yeah, and it really Gage just kind of quit. But also, he lost to MK by seven. Who else? He, he, and lost to BT. So, Connor, that's a good question. I don't know. I mean, I'm sure if you ask Gage, he'll let you. Nolan fires over the middle to goal. Goal's behind the defense. And if he gets to 47 yards on one play, Order State looking to cut into the lead. Um, Connor, there's a solid chance we have you start with FCS. And then move your way up, but we'll see. Yeah, I know you lost this. Going back to pass, rolls over right side and is tackled, but throws the ball away before he gets a sack. Second and ten. Whoa, Connor, is that you? Oh, I'm sorry, Hitter, is that you? <laughs> Going back to pass. Fires it to Lindsay over the middle. Lindsay breaks one tackle and is tackled around the fourteen or fourteen yard line. Excuse me. Yeah, we'll see. We're there's been there's been discussions. We don't know yet. Also, be kind of cool if like <sighs> trying to think of what we could do. No one back to pass rolls out right side. Looking for a receiver in the end zone and is incomplete. Had a receiver open, which could not get it there. I think I've told Blake this. Maybe not. It'd be kind of cool if like we had multiple games going on at the same time, but like, not, not do double walks. You know, have like you have studio, like you have someone in a quote unquote studio watching all the games. That oh, fires on the right side. Tongue gets about seven yards first and goal. Um. You have like a studio, but you have like, I don't know, five or so games going on at the same time. Uh, so you could like cut into a broadcast, um, give a score update, all that stuff. I don't know. That'd be kind of cool. But, or you could have like a red zone channel, something like that. And you have other games going on at the same time. As Oregon State cuts into the lead, makes it two scores, going into halftime. A yeah. second for red zone idea. That would be really sick. Yeah. I don't know. I know we're trying to build viewership, but like if you had, like you could have people stream on like my channel. Uh, I'm sure you can make one. It's not very hard. Then you know, like on this RFF league, you can have that be red zone or something. Estelle Auto brings it out to the 35, second around the 38 yard line. This has been a, a big milestone for the league, though. We've consistently <laughs> had between 12 to 15. Gage, if you can hear me, Mason said there's someone in your closet. <laughs> Five wide for Clemson looking to... Whoa, Connor, Ayo. <laughs> Clemson running the play clock down. It is a screen pass. No one's open, though. And throws it away. 24 seconds left. No intentional grounding this time. Second attempt for Clemson. I don't know, bro. Club fires right side. Williams is out of bounds. Third and inches now. 19 seconds. Stops the clock. And Clemson... Probably at least looking to get a field goal here. What's up, Twist? Someone just left the call. I'm guessing that was MT, right? Yes. Yeah. Third and inches, five wide. Fires to Spectre over the middle. Makes the man miss at the 35. Makes another miss at the 30. 25, 20, 15, 10. 
running at the clock, five touchdown Clemson. What a play! Clemson takes a 18 point lead once again. Nine seconds left, and Clemson's looking to show no mercy again tonight. That was some great stick stills by Gage there. I mean, made five man's miss, and that's as Clemson extends the lead back to three scores. Nine seconds left, unless Gage does something wrong here. That's what will be going into halftime. What's Low. West Coast? This ain't no West Coast. This is Low brings it out of the end zone. A dangerous kickoff returner, but only gets to around the 18-yard line. Six seconds left. Probably not enough for... <laughs> not enough for uh, Oregon to do anything. Um... See what he does, though. And that'll be the end of the first half. Clemson's up 18, 28 10. And I believe Morgan State gets the ball. Connor, remember our first game against each other? It was like, I, I don't think there was one stop in our game. It was insanity. No, no, no. I was. It's when you were Utah. I was Kansas State. It was ours was like 45 42, something like that. It was insane. Yeah, yeah, that's what it was. Something like that. It was crazy. As Nolan brings five wide out. Got to score here. Got to get back in this game. Nolan back to pass. Fires right side to Dunmore. Dunmore takes two about the 35-yard line. That's where he gets tackled. Moves his chains though for a first down. And Oregon State goes immediately to the no huddle. Having to score quick to get back in this game. Play action pass from Nolan. Fake QB draw. Fires in the middle to Gold. Gold gets about 11 yards. And once again, another first down. Luger staying in a five wide formation. Another play action, QB draw. Charge roll out left side. Throws over to Benmore again. And another first down. Three plays, three first downs for Oregon State. Fenwick with the counter, and Fenwick only gets two yards. Probably the shortest run play Oregon State had all day. I can remember second and eight for Oregon State. Nolan back to pass. Had a receiver open for a second. Nolan rolling right side. He's free to the 35 and attack around the 25. Nah, Mason, I need trick plays. What are we doing? This is bowl games. I need trick plays out here. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 25. <laughs> gold in motion. A triple option look for Oregon State. Nolan pitches out to gold, but gold does barely gets back to the line of scrimmage. Second and 10 for Clemson. Or Oregon State, I mean. <laughs> I know there's some playbooks that have had that like, pass, Connor. I just don't know which one they are. Owen rolls out right side, fires to Bolden over the middle. Gets nine yards, third and one here. <laughs> third and one for Oregon State. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Clemson expecting a run play here. Third and one, it is a run to read option. Nolan's free, he's at the 10, at the five. Tries to make a man miss with a spin move. Only gets to around the five. First and goal, Oregon State. This is the ninth play of this drive. They're trying to stop the run here with a goal line defense. Counter play to Oregon State. And Oregon State gets to around the one yard line, breaks two tackles. Down at the one. From the one yard line, 
it's second down. <laughs> wow, good stop for a negative one yard gain. And Oregon State has a third and goal at the two. Uh, you mean for like new players, Mason, like Leary to Kentucky? Stuff like that? That was, that was me sneezing, Connor. Nolan breaks one tackle and can't break another one. And is down at the four yard line. Fourth and goal at the four, and they're going for it. Have to screen pass. It might work. Loud gets in the end. What a play call. Touchdown. Oregon State. Uh, Mason, you don't get that till like August. They don't start working on that till like the summer. It takes a long time for them. Uh, that was a different roster. We're not. We're not using that one again. We, that's not a good one. We used one not official with CFBR, and it wasn't very good. So, Chipley brings it out of the end zone. Chipley takes it right side to 30, 35, 40, 45, breaks the tackle, 50, 45, spins around at the 40. Um, if it didn't take it forever, I'd try to work on it, but like, yeah, there's, I mean, some of them suck. So we're just going to stick with these for a while. Um, maybe I'll work on transfers. But other than that, I don't know. I feel like Klubnik. But Klubnik it takes a read option. He's gone. 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown. Twist. The people that do rosters are their own separate entity. They do, they do rosters by themselves. So... They're not ten, they just give the rushes to CFBR. They don't they're not affiliated with them. At least how that's how I understand it. Maybe something our new buddies from CFBR community could help us with. Uh -huh. Clemson strikes back easily. Ooh. One yeah. cut back to the right could have been deadly. Yep. Yeah, that's what I thought. They did a great job on their last drive, moving the ball down the field for a touchdown. Let's see if they can duplicate that on this drive. Oh, I see what Watt said now. Yeah. A lot of that has to do with his preparation. You can see right now. Nolan fires to Fenwick right side and gets 12 yards. Another first down for Oregon State. Yeah, so, I mean, I guess I can work on transfers, but, like, I would also have to get recruits in the game, and that would also screw up, like, team selections. So... Yeah, I think that would be a little bit too nasty to mess with. I think we're just going to stick with the rosters we have. Yeah. I, mean, I mean, these rosters are fine. I mean, <laughs> Nolan gets the read option, takes it for another 10 yards, breaks a couple tackles, and tackle for a 15-yard game. Twist, I hope I hope that the season we switch rosters, you switch team before and you're ineligible. That would be pretty funny. Just kidding. Comeback route for Oregon State and Davis reaches instead of the receiver. Makes the man miss and he might be gone. 35 30, 25 20, 15 10. A pick six for Clemson and the route is on in Tuscan, Arizona. So a great play by the defender to give his team six points. That was a very good play and that was so Love it, Connor. Talk your shit. Clemson with the point after to make it a 25 point game. Two minutes left to go in the third quarter. And I, I, truth does hurt. Just like I'm 0 6 against uh, uh, Twist. Hurts, but it's true. Pretty sure my combined point loss is like 35, all six of those games. But you know, that brings the deep out of the end zone. Goes left side to the 20 and is tackled around the 20 yard by Venables. Yeah, I lost to MT too last season. Actually, I, actually, I beat him twice and lost him once. Should have looked. Sad I lost him in the conference championship game. I did my first. Let's see 
Oregon State looking to rebound from the pick six as they bring it out. Two minutes left to go. Yeah, shut up, MT. A perfect a pass by Nolan is knocked away by the defender, second and ten. Yeah, the day we decided to play, we should have delayed it because, I mean, MT knows this. The internet was so bad for both sides. Yeah, whoever wasn't hosting was lagging their balls off. As Nolan gets sacked for 11 yards and third and 21 for Oregon State. Like, I was skipping all over the place. I still scored 32. But. Nolan back to pass. Needs to get it. Oh, my goodness. He's sacked. Almost a safety. Tackled at the half-yard line. Uh, interesting what he's going to do here. Whether he'll go for it or not. Um, I would assume he go for it, but we'll see. Oh, he's putting the ball away. I was gauge I'd bring the house, but maybe you're setting up a return. Shipley will get a chance to return at the 50. Goes left side. Breaks one tackle and breaks another. Gets to the 35-yard line. And Clemson will look to extend their lead here. I don't think we'll leave. I think he kind of expected this to happen, to be honest with you. I mean, you should. if you were watching the selection show, when he saw he was playing Gage, he like put his hands in his face like, fuck. He's coming back to pass. Rolls out right side. Fires to receiver Williams. Williams makes the catch and turns up to the 20 yard line. And apparently, wow, this is coming right, from breaking. This is coming from some sources. Wow. Coach Cash apparently has slipped his phone out on the sideline, sending out a tweet of a mic drop GIF. Uh oh. Come like. Over to the left side, the Shipley breaks a tackle, maybe breaks too many, tackle off the ten yard line or twenty yard line. All right, Connor, I guess that that I mean, if you if that's a way of saying you want me to lose, all right, well, fuck you, man. I don't know what you just want from me. That's true. I beat him first time I played him. I beat him fifty-two-three. So it's kind of funny. Play action pass for Clemson. Clemson rolls out left side to the 20. Cuts up to the 16-yard line and hit out of bounds. Here's the thing, Connor. Even if I win, I have to play twist. I don't want to play him again. I'm going to, have, I'm going to be the seventh time in three seasons. That'll be the end of the third quarter. And Clemson is up by 25 and looking to extend the lead. 0 oh, 6. Twist, I would know this better than you. Okay. Three times in season three. Two times past season four, I think. Double like fives in the middle to Nagata, and Nagata takes it in the end zone. Touchdown. Oh. Okay, Twist. Clemson sends a lead to 32, and I don't know. We'll see what Gage does. He could call it off. He could extend the lead some more. I don't know. As Oregon State gets a touchback and gets the ball at the 25-yard line. Oregon State instead turns conservative. Oh, I'm sure you two clock on. He wants to get out of this game. He's done. Nolan back to pass. Fires him in to Lindsay. Lindsay breaks one tackle and is tackled around the 45 or 40 yard line, excuse me. From their own 39 yard line, it's first down. Uh, it seems that we have a coaching. Um, a coaching, you know, what he's been doing. Gage has been running 5-2 cover 1 the entire time. Hasn't gotten out of it. Uh, and uh, Oregon State has no idea what to do. Anyway, second and six for Oregon State. 
play action pass for Oregon State. Rolls out, no one rolls out right side, loses four yards, and third and ten for Oregon State. Uh, Blake, Twist wants you to make up something about how USC is going to gonna shit on me. So you're up. Please make up something to say the truth about how UNC is going to shit. Well, just, you know, comparing the numbers, Twist is going to beat the shit out of you. <laughs> but, anyway. Oh, my goodness. Turnover on downs again, and Clemson takes over at the 40-yard line. All right, Twist, I'll remember that when I release it by 21 to you in the playoffs. Actually, I gotta beat uh, gotta beat Sneak first. Clemson rolls out right side. He's not done. Fires over the Shipley over the middle, and Shipley gets 12 yards and another first down. Engage is shit talking Hooter right now. Finally, this has a trim two clock on. Back to pass again now. A draw play. Shipley gets the handoff to the 30. And he gets tackled around the, what, 26-yard line? Second and five for Gage. Once again, Gage made it very vocal. He was not happy with the results of the playoffs. Thought he should have gotten in uh, at five and three, especially with two three-loss teams getting in ahead of him. And as they get delayed game here, couldn't get the snap off in time. Uh, even made a tweet about it. So I think this is a statement game to not only – uh, me, I do the playoffs and stuff, but I uh, do the rest of the league. From the 32 yard line, second down. Play action pass for Clemson. Clemson rolling left side, fires in the middle to Collins. Collins gets to around the 22 and gets a first down. Gage, what are you eating? Can you hear me? Um. Chips Ahoy Chewy Cookie. Oh, very nice. I usually eat Ritz crackers, but I'm out, and it's also 12 oh, in the morning, so, you know, I can't. Well, you know, the store. You know. Club Nick fires in the end zone. Yeah. It intercepted by Oregon State. A diving interception in the end zone, and Oregon State will get the ball at the 25-yard line. And Kirk Herbstreit is getting mad at Gage for running up the score, but no one cares. Oh, he was not in the end zone. He was at the one yard line, actually. Uh, interesting play call. This might be safety. Fires in the middle. Oh, my goodness. Harrison catches it and goes to the 35 yard line immediately. Who just joins? Who is this? Oh, it's Twist. Hi, Twist. Did Gage find. Hey, what's up, guys? Did Gage find a new defensive cheese? Uh, well, let's be real. Let's say? be real. Let's be real. It's 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 this a, five two here. cover one D. I don't think Hooter knows what he's doing. No, this is absolutely not cheese at all, bro. Hooter's just posting. Hooter's run, and I'm Hooter's run the same plays like five different times. Like, I saw Mason saw that Hooter should attack the seams. Like, dude, I'm running the same defense. <laughs> Hooter is game. five plays. Yeah. Oh, no. Gage, what did you post? I'll all craft the game. <laughs> 35 seconds and counting. Clemson will take the Barstool Arizona Bowl. Um, will improve to 6-3 and three while Oregon State, best season of his coaching career in the league so far. Falls to five and six. That is final. Final score: Clemson forty-nine, Oregon State seventeen. Um, I think that'll do it for tonight with games. We will have another one for sure tomorrow. Kansas State versus Minnesota. Time is TBD. Um, yeah. So, not sure. Engaging. Take me off the mic, but we'll see. <laughs>